It's in between. It's the middle way. So when we start looking at this pattern of 24-ness, then we can start realizing, well, wait a minute, it actually pertains as well to Mod 60. And my colleague and uh, one of the guys on our research team, uh, I first met him when he sent me this Mod 60 analysis of Fibonacci numbers. And his name is Will Wire, and, and he, uh, he does all my artwork. And he's a brilliant artist as well. And Will sent me the last few days a, uh, a pattern that he'd identified of Fibonacci numbers at mod 60 as well. Only this time, instead of summing to nine, which holds a placeholder as zero, because there's no zero in, in this uh, digital root or mod nine analysis. And, and so when he sent me the pattern on mod 60, I was fascinated because I then realized that, that the 180 degree opposite numbers on the mod 60 positions sum to one. So now we've got a binary code in Fibonacci numbers that one is a placeholder using mod nine on top of mod 24. And the other is still based on mod nine on top of mod 60. And of course, 24 is a unique number because it sums and its digital root is six also. So is this why we have 24 hours in a day, 60 minutes and 60 seconds that comes out to 86,400. And then if we put one on the end of that, on the front end of it, you've got the speed of light, 1.864 times 10 to the fifth power, miles per second. Or you've also got the diameter of the sun, 864,000 miles. So when we start realizing these patterns are virtually everywhere and that there's no coincidences here, um, this starts opening up an entirely new relationship with mathematics for us because we start realizing the universe has been trying to speak to us for a really long time.